Hello everyone and welcome to part one of our Kingdoms and Castles blind playthrough. Um, I am November Wright and I've not played any of this game whatsoever. Um, the very limited experience I have is literally just watching my partner play little bits of it. Um, so I'm literally just going to go in not knowing anything and see how we come out. Um, easy or hard? I'm just going to start easy because I've generally never played the game. Um, basic controls, it's just WASD is normal. F and V, okay. Um, choose an island, choose an island, choose an island. Um, the only thing I do know is kind of about the, um, the farmlands, you know, dark green is good, you want to have this lighter coloured rock. Um, I've got a lot of woodland here but not a lot of like good farmland here. Um, let's go for the next one. It's an alright size for an island. Um, some okay farmland, some very not good farmland. Uh, not a lot of stone. Yeah, not a big fan. That one's alright. I can get into there. A good farmland there. Along the coast. Not very good here, but like a lot of okay stuff. I can just fresh down there. Yeah, I'm, I like I like the look of this one. I'm gonna accept this. Um, yeah, let's just call it frost. I'll find it. Um, no, let's call it um, where I grew up. Let's call it Cumbernauld. No one wants to live in Cumbernauld. Yeah. Okay. Keep your uh, build your keep near fertile land, trees and stone. Okay. Um, let's have a look then. Um, so that's stone, stone, that's iron. What constitutes it being iron, but... Okay, that's kind of like sand colour, or okay, yeah, so it's that. Um, in that case, let's just put it like, let's just put it here, just for the sake of it, right? Boom, right in the middle. Right, okay, year one. Congratulations, Cumbernauld has grown into a quiet hamlet. <laughs> God, no one wants to stay in Cumbernauld. Um... See, allows peasants to travel. So I need houses. I need peasants and I need houses. Um, okay, there's a high fire risk, which is not good. Um, okay, that's fine. I've got some marine, so I've got 12 store. Uh, okay, let's get a house. Okay, so I need a road. So I do need a road. Okay, um, let's just build a little like. Road. I think this is what I want to do. A stone path. Um, should build this here. Yeah. Okay. Can I get a little dude? What do you get? What do you do? Just chilling out, doing your little thing. Look at it. Look at you. Oh, look at him. He's got killed. All right. Let's have a quick look around while they're doing some stuff. Um, oh, what is that there? Oh, it's a bird. I thought that was maybe something interesting, like a, like a weird like, campfire. Oh, there's some animals over there. Okay. Um, hovel, house is up to five people, head of the household fetches food and charcoal for the house. Cool. Um, so I now need to be getting, oh, what the, what the, the land is ready for agriculture. Okay. Um, industry? Maybe? No? Ah, food. Let's get some farmland on the go. Um, middle click mouse button or R to rotate. Does it need to be rotated? I think it's purely just for aesthetic reasons, isn't it? Uh, okay, let's do one there. Um, let's do maybe a few. Can we do a few? It costs three wood. We don't have any wood. Okay, we need more houses. Well, now you see, there's a small issue with that, and that I didn't. Oh, there's trees there. What are you all about? There's trees. There's trees. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Um, chop the wood. Yes, someone will chop the wood. And let's see, rebuild, demolish. I have not a fucking clue what I'm doing here, which is always a good start to it. What do you want? 
Two people visited, but none could find a home. I built a home. I built one right here. Look. There's no one here. Oh, oh there is. Okay, some guy called Octavius is probably here. Right, so let's get more people chopping the wood. If you guys chop some more wood, we can get some more goods. How does that sound? Let's get another farm. Let's just put it like here, because it'll just be like kind of aesthetic, like a little like, farm bit here. There we go, that'll be fine. That'll be fine. God, we're in year two already? You're shitting me. How quick does this go? We've got no money, we've got no nothing. Doing alright. We're doing alright. Oh, did I need to build more roads? Right, I've only got two woods, so like, I kind of need people to be working on chopping the trees down. Come on, dudes. Okay. Mm. Okay, you need farms. Mm. Or houses and roads, and... Mm. You're just saying hi. Alright, cool. You're pretty useless. Um, let's see. I'm finding out, like, I don't even know how to, like, click off stuff. Is there a way you can just close the... Ah, oh, yeah, right, click. Uh, will that work on that? No, it doesn't work on that. What am I doing wrong? Why are you not? We need wood. Yo. Chop the trees, fam. Chop the trees. I get two stone. Oh, that's our job, right? Ah. I need more timber workers, that's what it is. Then we'll put farmers there and stockpile workers can go there. Builders can go last, because we're not building anything. Well, we will be, so let's move the builders here. Um, actually, move the builders any second, and then that way... Yeah, there we go. There we go. You guys will start bringing in that Mula Mula. Oh, there's some food. Yee yeah, boy. It's actually quite a nice wee game. Like, you're quite... It's very, like, kind of, like, opposite to what I'd normally go for. Normally, I'm all kind of, like, if, like, first-person shares anyone's ever watched any of my stuff in the past, from, like, seven years ago. <laughs> When I did YouTube, will probably know. Um, I did like a lot of like first person stuff, like Battlefield Three and whatnot. Um, but no, I'm I'm quite excited to be uh, to be doing some stuff again. This will be like my grand return to YouTube. Let's get a couple. Let's just make like a nice kind of little square here. Um, let's get some houses. I could get a hovel. Head of the house. What's the difference between a hovel and a cottage? Um, oh, 12 peasants can stay in a cottage. Okay, well, let's just start with hovels first of all because. I kind of don't want to like put them on any like good farmland. Yeah, let's put that one there. And there we go, that will give us some more villagers, hopefully. Um, We'll just try and make it like every villager's kind of got their own little bit of like farming to do in this area here. I feel like later on this this area here is going to be the main kind of in, kind of like construction area, and that's just where we'll put most of our stuff, and we'll kind of keep the farmland just kind of to the edges, you know, kind of around here, um, kind of up here can be like more building some farmland here. That's quite a nice wee area for farmland. Um, but yeah, this will be like kind of look at the size of it. Yeah. I'm quite happy with this little start. Do we have any like smaller islands that kind of facing off? We don't do it, no, it's just this. It means we don't need any bridges that we could like get a bridge over here and move it. Just to speed up trying to like kind of travel from the the main area. Uh, we should get some more people on the wood. So let's get you, you, and you, because I've only got three of you guys. What does the castle need? Nope, nope, Sherry, nope, 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 nope. Go back to having it called Cumbernauld. Year three. Three years. Time flies in this game. Um, I'm starting to think that what I need now is to start thinking about stone. Um, I'll keep the tax rate as it is. What's people's happiness? 61. 
So we've got lots of fruit, but not any fish or anything like that. That's fine. Um, there was a fishing spot, yeah, here. It might be worth. How much is it for fishing? Oh, under food, one to orchard. We need stone. So let's find a stone works. Let's put that in there. And let's get a road going out to it. I need 15 wood for an orchard. So I'll wait for these guys to come back and I'll get an orchard because right? what does an orchard give me? Oh, we get four new residents to the kingdom. Cumbernauld's coming up thick and fast. It's going to be this. It's gonna be, Cumbernauld's going to be the place to be. Trust me. Trust me. No one knows what, like, what Cumbernauld is. Just Google it, right? Just pause the video. Go have a look. At Cumbernauld, you will not regret your decision, um, and then you'll keep watching this this like this series, and you'll absolutely love Cumbernauld. And just think like, wow, what an amazing place to live. Four years it's taken Cumbernauld to build three houses, a, a quarry, and three farms, but the castle was built like that. You know, it'll blow your it'll blow your mind. Absolutely, blow your mind. Um, Let's make sure we've got people working on the mine, which is nearly done. Come on, guys. We're waiting for two wood. Okay. Okay, that should be your wood there. Um, da -da -da -da. Let's have a look. So we want, we want to get the orchard, and then we want to get the fishing hut. Oh, what's the difference with a fishmonger? Sending a fishing boat out to fishing nearby. Uh, must be near fishing grounds. Be careful not to place too many fish huts in one area and overfish. Okay. Fishmonger prepares and stores fish for each fish collected from a fishing hut. Fishmonger prepares and cuts into multiple servings if tools are available. Hmm. So I think what I'm going to need is the fishing hut, then the fishmonger. One will let me catch the fish, one will then kind of make the fish edible. Does that sound a bit right? I feel like that sounds right. If it was like real, real times, kind of like IRL, that would make sense. Um, more quarry workers than farmers? More farmers and quarry workers. That's probably the way to go about it. Um, because we've got three people taking on the wood, which is fine. So, let's have a quick explicit zoom right in. I don't think like I'm just jumping on the farm. That is a hundred percent how you make food. Just jump on it. Just yeah. okay. come on, boys. Right. Let's get let's get this orchard now. Oh god, that's quite large, isn't it? Yeah, let's pop, pop that there. I mean, that has kind of used all of our stuff, but what we can then do is get another hovel. Can I pop a hovel here? Just like this. It's where like the real low kind of class people stay in their village. Um, right next to the quarry, and they'll just be kept up all night, just with a constant sound of like people just fucking going at it in the mine. You want to sleep? Fuck you. King says, get back to work. We'll make like a spa house or something here later on. I've seen that you can get spa houses and stuff. So I'll make that like here later on. And yeah, the workers can come out from the quarry, go back to their house and just chill out, you know, jump in the spa, relax. 
50 bits. We need one more person to move. Come on. I'm just gonna keep ignoring that. Everyone's on the building. That's unacceptable. Right. I feel like we must be able to get like a, a timber yard that'll give us more. Let's just stop a lot of forest. There are chops and places trees. Hmm. Okay, that actually might be worth something getting because I feel like if I chop all the trees down, I'm gonna have nothing to to kind of replenish the trees. Um, and that would be good to kind of make this area here kind of like the industrial bit, you know. That's just where all the kind of like crap stuff can go. Really in terms of everything. Um, 15 wood. I've got no wood at the moment. So let's get some people out here. Chopping down some trees. I don't know if this is the right way to do it. Let's just not kind of deforest everything. Let's just get a little trees. Sack it on your skull, guys. Come along quite nicely. I'll kind of create this as being like the main fishing area here. Um, there's quite a lot of fish. I mean, there's a lot, a lot of fish. Um, so yeah, this whole wall. That's not on. You've awakened me. How long was I asleep? Here's perhaps. I am starved. Fetch me some more food, will you? Um, I mean. I have sex. Let's just, let's just, let's just ignore the witch. Um, I, I actually don't have food yet. I probably need to get more people on the farms. Um, or just get more farms in general. Um, the orchard. Oh, it's, it's up. Oh, bonus. Sweet. Um, let's have a look. What do we need? Just a small granny stores wheat farmers bring sweet here too. Oh, so we lose wheat that we can't store. Oh, that's not good, right? So let's get uh, let's put the granary next to the, the castle. Um, let's do that, and then let's get some more. Is a tennis career to it? Okay, that's the most decreased happiness. Well, let's just focus on. Getting the people in first of all, you know. Um, let's get another farm. Let's do double farm here. Um, I mean, it's not perfect, but let's just get another set of beds in. I'm probably gonna use. Let's do that. Um, and then, oh yeah, we said we we're gonna get the. Got the quarry, the forester. Uh, this is too far away from any of your roads, so I kind of feel like I want to like. Where would I put it? I feel like here would be good. Right, okay. So I need 15 for it, so also, as long as I don't end up using too much of the stone. Six. I should still have enough. Um, yeah, Forester. And then, yeah. Can I put it just slightly further in? Yeah, let's put it that way. Kind of have its like backside faces. And that covers that. That's perfect. It literally covers all of this forest. I mean, it's going to take a bit of a like a fair while for it to build, but that's not terrible. I don't hate it. Can you rotate? Oh, we can. Oh, what? Our little bustling town of 18 people. Oh, there we go, we got some more stone and stuff. Um, food is really low, but. Um, yeah. I don't seem to be producing much in the way of food, which is probably why that people are not the most happy. But, we 
but you work on it. If you keep working on it. There. Is that done it automatically? Done it automatically, yes, there we go. Right. Let's have a look, have a think. What do we want to do? Do we want to do? We've got the quarry going, we've got that going. What do people really need? We need more food, but people kind of want a variety. So, let me see. How much was. Oh, this is what might be something we need. Storage fruits. Orchard is bringing fruit here to store after each harvest. Well, harvest has just been. 22 food output per year. Oh, but we, oh, we need a lot more farms. Yeah, the people are eating just like 21 food and we're making the nine, so like, people are going to end up starving. Let's create like another row of houses here. Um, and let's just make plenty, plenty, plenty of farms. I was just gonna try. Yep, that's fine. Oh, I don't have this, the wood for it. Oh man. The music is dope, but I like this music. That's proper chill. Feels very medieval, like I can see myself just kinda of in the tavern jamming away to this. Hell yeah. Look at this dude, look at these dudes. This guy carrying three, but my man over here taking in seven, like absolute mad lad. Let's get another couple of farms just so we're supporting the people we have. And then what we'll do is we'll then plop houses here, here, and here. So we'll do it just so you can see. Get the hovel, one, two, three. We've got another orchard, and then we'll get the orchery uh, kind of thing here. Well, provides uh, access to drinkable water. Ah. Probably should think of it a well. I'm trying to get maximum coverage. Let's pop the well there. Oh. <gasps> Cumbernauld is now a small village. Oh, wow. Fantastic. Fantastic. I am getting starting to get the hang of it, yeah. You know, I'm, I'm not saying that I'm going to be like some type of fantastic world leader, but like, if Cumbernauld turns into some sort of like medieval superpower and takes over the entirety of this island, you know, um, I mean, who, who am I to. Who am I, who am I to, to say no to it? You know, it's the will of the people at the end of the day. I'm just merely their vessel here. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. But I like it. I can actually find this quite a fun game. Um, I can see myself sinking a lot of hours into this just doing absolutely nothing apart from just watching these little bits. Look at this guy. Who's, can, we, can we click on individual people? Can we? No, no, this guy is an absolute machine, but he's like the town, you can tell he's like the, the, the village kind of strongman. That's his like younger brother that also kind of equally wants to try be strong. Um, and then you've just got fucking Farmer Joey. We'll come back, we'll give them all names. Farmer Joey, um, fucking, fucking Farmer Joey not even doing anything with his farm. Upon Farmer Joy, you've got the lowest, oh, you've got one of the lowest, that's because you get the highest fire risk of all the fucking dirt farms. Come on, Joey. What you doing? Right, how much food are we consuming now? Let me have a look. So we're losing one food per year. Now we'll do is we'll get this last orchard up. Um, it's probably the orchard next to it. <laughs> Shit area. That's really kind of be like the perfect area up this back quarter for it. Um, mm, I shouldn't have done that. Something tells me I should not have done that. Uh, 
can put it there. Let's get the road going in. And then what I can also build food wise, I've not got enough wood. It feels like one of those games where just everything's just like, it's not necessarily about population, just resource management. But, I mean, come on. It's a, it's a pretty fucking game. I like it. Um, I really like it. But, what we're doing is, uh, thank you very much for joining me on, uh, on part one of building Commonwealth. The uh, soon to be absolute mega city, um, absolute heaven on earth. Um, yeah, hopefully you, you, you stuck around if you're here at the end. Thanks. My cat's in the background destroying my house. So with that being said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it quits for just now. And uh, yeah, hopefully we'll see you in part two of this. Bye bye.